girl just tea coming at you guys with a nice little recipe if this is your first time stopping by my channel thank you so much I hope that you would like subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell as well okay guys today we're gonna be making some Doritos nachos now I have a couple different bags that I'm going to be using you guys know I love spicy, so I'm going to be using Flamin' Hot for mine. I also have the ranch, and I have just the basic ones as well, just the nacho cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and go and get into this recipe. Come on, y'all. It's gonna be good. Okay, guys, so now I'm going, I went ahead and I put my one pound of ground beef inside of the pan. I'm just gonna brown that. You wanna just break it up as you're cooking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this brown and I'll bring you guys right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I'm just trying to brown this up. But I also do is to I pour just a little bit of water. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some taco seasoning. And again, depending on your flavor, you know, I'm not gonna give you guys measurements for that. It's gonna kinda eyeball it myself. Chili powder that I'm gonna add a little bit in as well. so you can see how much I'm pouring just a little bit because this water is going to cook out okay you guys so I went back in a little bit I tasted it and I went back in with some more of my taco seasoning I'm also going to add in a little bit of garlic powder And I'm going to also add a little bit of chili powder, some, some of this McCormick's. I really like this one. Okay, guys, so we're about to make these Dorito nachos. I just made my husband a little taco salad with his. <laughs> it was big. All right, so, <laughs> oh, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Doritos, and we're going to go ahead and get to building it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my flaming hot Doritos. I actually kind of wanted to mix mine, but um, yeah, I kind of wanted to mix them with a little bit of the ranch ones. I might get a couple of those in there. I'm feeling a little hungry. <laughs> I think I might mix mine. I'm going to go in with some lettuce. I'm go in with some meat. Like I'm being real greedy right now. <laughs> you said the peppers are hot. They're supposed to be. <laughs> so we got that. I'm gonna put some cheese on here. I want a lot of cheese on mine. I like a lot of onions. And then some olives. But it is. It's like, you know, you can just make these your own. Put whatever you want on them. Like, you know, 
I don't think it's no wrong way to make nachos. It's definitely not. And it's something that will definitely fill you up, especially if you put that um ground beef in there. Yeah, it's gonna definitely be filling. Cause look at this, you guys. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like I'm so ready to eat this right now. I sure am. Just like put it on in little spots. But there you go, guys. And I'm gonna put like some sour cream on them. But um, I'm gonna put mine on the side. I don't want my sour cream to be on there. But these are my Dorito nachos, you guys. I'm about to f this up. <laughs> I'm about to get it in. I am. But as always, guys, I hope you all have an awesomely blessed rest of your day. Awesome, awesome day, all right? And I also appreciate all you guys for stopping by. I appreciate all the support and everything. I truly do. Hope you guys are forever blessed, y'all. It's just tea. I'm out. Mm -mm. Thank you so much for watching. Stay forever blessed.